So I know there's a bunch of stuff here on this tableau, but we're actually doing some macro photography today. To be more specific, we are doing macro photography with the Rare Vision VHSs without that extra S, just Rare Vision VHS. Hello, it's me. I'm Stephen Allen. How are you doing today? It's like, it's just because I'm recording a video because it's not even hot. Today we're going to look at some macro photography. We're going to take some macro photography. I did do another macro video, a close up video, a zoomed in video. And um, I did a lot of YouTube shorts with macro or close up zoomed in because I guess like this may not be legit macro. And so people are going to be like, that's not macro because macro is what, whatever. I'm just, it's zoomed in photography. So I was using like a microphone stand, it kept falling, it was doing all this stuff, and I said I needed to like upgrade and better my situation, so I have this. So let's look at some Chex Mix up close, this stuff. Why am I sweating so much? I was not sweating so much before I started filming this video and I'm just covered in moist. <sighs> Okay, let's get to it. So this is a little stand that I got on Amazon. I'll have links to this. I'll have links to this, the little clip. I'll have a link to this on Amazon. And this is the uh, macro that we're going to be using. So let's open up Rare Vision VHSs. So I like to slide this in. Okadoke. I have my little table here. Okay. I like having this little remote because then I can just take photos, but we're doing a screen grab, so we're good to grow. So this is our little table on a table. This is what we're going to look at. It's squiggle breadstick, that's this. And then this is the square pretzel, and then that's the uh, round pretzel. And then this is the corn checks. And then this is the wheat checks, and that's rye chip. Is that all of them? This is what the bag looks like. Boom, boom. Law and order, special victims unit. So we have this. This is a little macro lens. It is my birthday today, September 11th. I'm actually recording quite a few videos today, so I guess I'm celebrating with you. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. I've been getting a few more subscribers these days and I do appreciate it. And then if you put a little lens on you can get closer and then i'll have to push this down but we're going to start with it like this so we're going to get the squiggle breadstick we're going to put it here and this is what it looks like from this angle we can zoom in so that's what you get you can't really get that close with this app but i did do a little test and it seemed like it was in focus so now we can see it closer so is this inception you can see it underneath right there it's not like you're gonna see a ton of details with this because this is like a camcorder emulator and i'm sweating again so this is what you kind of get but i think this is kind of cool so let's keep going okay so this is the ride ship you can see a little bit more there Kind of feels like we're using a little microscope. This is probably my favorite one. I wish that we could get a bit closer. This is a little ride ship. All right, so let's move on to the next one. This is the wheat checks. And I like the little bold flavoring on it. Is this a special kind or the original? This is Chex Mix, family size. This is family size. This looks like individual. I could eat this in one sitting. Traditional, says it right there. If this is a family size, what is a regular size? This does not look fam- Ridiculous. So, you can see the little grid system here. Okay, and then let's actually throw the rice one in too as a comparison. You can see the rice is a little lighter, it's a little puffier, I think. I think. Let's go to the square pretzel. And so you can't really see that many details, but of course you can get a lot closer doing this. I'm gonna take this off. See, it's blurry. So you can't see what you're looking at. You can't get that close. You stick this on. It's in Ariana Grande focus. And I'm gonna turn this light on. You know, like this is it off. This is a little light. This is more than having it here helps. So we're just gonna do that. How about that? Just like that. When I move, you move. Let's put this circle in. Circular. Is that the bottom? Yeah. 
Let's take that other side on. But yeah, I think having this light helps out a little bit. So anyway, this is, you know, basically the process that I go through when I'm doing the uh, close-up stuff. I thought about doing some YouTube shorts with Rare Vision VHS, but uh, maybe I will do it. I just thought the quality of it isn't that great. It's interesting. People seem to watch my videos about Rare Vision VHS, so I thought I would do that. But I've been using the Fimo 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 app for my shorts recently. I do have to take the photos multiple times because I feel like it's a randomizer. Is that a word? In this mounted situation, the lighting didn't change, and I even used a remote, so it wasn't like I was bumping into the phone when I took the picture, but I got different versions of the photo every time. It wasn't consistent. It was like very different. It was like a huge light leak, a little light leak, a little, just differences that were kind of major differences, depending on which filter I used. But anyway, I'm playing around with that. I just wanted to kind of check out macro with Rear Vision VHS. You can take photos with Rear Vision VHS. You can watch in some of my other videos I talk about that, but it's really just a screen grab. It's the same thing that I could do in post of just taking a still from the video clip. So there's no reason to push the photo button. It's not like you get a better quality. It's just a freeze frame. Which is what happens when you use a camcorder to take photos. So same difference. By the by, I do want to say, I know I'm wearing the same shirts in a lot of videos, but this is merch. So if you want to pick this shirt up or any of the shirts that you see in my videos or many of the shirts I wear in my videos, you can visit my website, perlin.com. You can find that there. So I just wanted to say that. I don't think it's too wrinkled today because my shirts have been crazy wrinkled recently. So anyway, let me know if you want to see any more macro videos. Since I'm posting a lot of YouTube shorts about six a day, I am wanting the shorts to resemble the long form content at least for a little while so I can try to get people to see my long form content since they are seeing my shorts. So it is going to be about macro stuff for a while, I think, a minute. I'm not sure. We're just going to figure this out. If you have any suggestions, I was thinking like I could try other apps and do macro photography. You can make suggestions of what you want me to look at up close. I have different objects around in my apartment, but maybe we could look at different foods up close and probably not use Rear Vision VHS, but use some other apps that have like better image quality. Do I need to say anything else? Do you need anything else? I think we're good. I think you're good. Happy birthday to me. Wow. And I'm just covered in sweat. Covered in sweat. My own the sweat on my face. I'm doing everything possible to not be covered in sweatitation, but oh well. Oh my gosh. <laughs>